What is up bros? So if you follow me closely, you probably know that I had the privilege of playing Siege at the Rally Major a few weeks ago where they held the Creators Cup showdown with three teams of content creators. I originally wasn't going to do a video on it, but I'm still seeing a lot of comments asking about it, so I thought I would share an overview of it plus the best tricks I used in the match to get some kills. The first three tricks are a little longer because they end up breaking them down and it's interesting to hear what they discuss about the tricks that I used, so I left it in there, but if you want to skip around, I got the usual timestamps below too. I thought now would be a good time to do this video before we get into all of the insane new stuff I have planned on the channel with the new season of Ember Rise and something to please keep in mind while you watch this video is that when you see me get a pick on whoever the player might be don't take that as a OMG coconut's better because that's literally the opposite of what I'm trying to do in this video plus these games were just for fun matches so not everyone is even trying their hardest Plus, if you watched some of the games, we ultimately got smashed in the matches. I just landed some cool shots in between getting destroyed by some of the legends on the other team, and I wanted to share those specific ones with the Coconut Bra fam. I want to thank all of you that were supporting me and my team while we were playing. I truly love and appreciate you all. Now, let's get into the team introductions and the first trick. Bring out your first team to the stage. Welcome, everyone, the Fake Diamonds! The roster is Microwave, Priest, Varsity Gaming, Yo Boy Roy, and Skittles. So let's bring out our next team. It is going to be a formidable squad. It is Godly's Golds. In the roster, you got Coconut Bra. Flanked, Cross Archon, Godly, and Saw Siege. Put your hands together for the Rowdy Shroudies! Your lineup is the one and only Russian Badger, Macy J, Shy, Saslin, and Shroud! Completely honest, yeah, I have no idea. No? Do you see the coconut bra angles already being established, Chad? Do you see that? He's punched his way all the way through the little mini bar area over on New Balcony, or Heaven, as we now call it. Oh, look at this! Yeah, you can see all the way over to that other balcony. He's got a little bit of a purview down below as well. What to work off of here? He's playing it back. He's playing it safe right now. The rest of his teammates seem to be doing that too. So I just kind of went off on his own, had his fun. The rest of the team's like, "Come on, man! What are you doing? We gotta close this out." But about a minute and a half has gone by now. Fake Diamonds starting their drone work in. We've got Skittles coming in through that top red hatch. He's going to start working his way out here as well. But oh, oh! Coconut Bro with the angles. Skittles didn't even see him. Golly working his way around the bar now, but only 40 seconds left. As two quick shots from Coconut Bra ring out. And the Godly's Golds once again take the lead. All right, so their defense is going pretty well here so far, but it's when they uh, come back to the casters, Eska, you have to show them all your uh, your GG belt, your real gamer hours belt. I don't, I don't all right, so first up, we got an angle that I've been using since the new cafe rework hit the test servers, and it's a sneaky little line of sight from meleeing a hole in the counter on Cocktail Balcony, or some people call Heaven, and creating an angle all the way to where attackers peek from top red onto the other new balcony. You can make this even sneakier if you use bullet holes, but it's already super hard to see and unexpected for attackers, so usually a simple melee hole works already. This is also an angle that doesn't always work for your attackers to pre-fire because depending on the angle you shoot it from, the bullets don't always go through. Now I didn't know that there was an analyst desk for our matches until I went back and watched the VOD, so I left some of the short segments of comments they made about the tricks I used and thought that it was pretty interesting getting their feedback on it. So if you do want to go ahead and skip on to the next trick, feel free, my feelings won't be hurt. There was some good plays back, especially by Coconut Bra we saw here. So for example, this angle, we always talk about his angles. He actually got to demonstrate one. Gotta imagine that's gonna be in a future YouTube as well. Worked quite well. This is a very difficult spot to contest, but you see most players playing from over here. Everyone's expecting that. You see him, he's just watching this side here, expecting someone to peek from there. Absolutely, but well played, and that goes Skittles just taken out. 
open. The crowd was having fun at the front door because they were just, every time the door would open, even though they weren't being let in yet, like to let staff in and stuff, they would all just like cheer like crazy every time the door opened, even for like two seconds. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, the crowd here, the crowd here has been fantastic. Cross will uh, actually falter. Coconut Bra though finds Skittles on a run out. But what else will we expect? This black guy comes more than likely outside and very creative things we've seen from him over the past few years in this game, so. All right, you can see the real quick little replay of that one there. It's up with a nice lull in chat as well. In play happen in a, in a space and they name it after that person. Like the amount of things that used to be named K9 is so, so crazy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Coconut Bro literally hopped up on the truck in order to get that angle. So very creative. Now, next up is one of my favorite tricks that I landed in North Carolina, and it's this parkour run out from Bakery to vault on top of the armored truck to get an angle onto anyone outside around bottom white. So many times people bunch up here, and you'll have a ton of opportunities to do this too. I usually throw my go to Valk cam outside from piano, which is the one you see me using for this trick. And once you see that Christmas market is clear and there's people outside of bottom white, then you're good to go. You can also see the level changes that happen when you walk from the bakery to the truck and all. All you have to do to get the vault prompt is to sprint to get the momentum while you're on the higher level ground and you'll be able to parkour right up. He tried run out after run out and they started to catch on, but he figured out, you know what? Let me catch them before they get a chance to place those claymores. Stop me. So let me get this back to the beginning here because this is very brief. But you see the run out here from Coconut Bra. He has the Valkyrie cameras. There's no claymores. He comes on out and guess who catches on drone? Of course, it's Skittles who's just taking his time on his phone and get slayed by Coconut Bra. So well played. Gotta imagine that's also gonna be a spot in a video just because we saw, for ah. example, Rask making I think, plays. yeah, that was the same spot over by the, the yeah. police fan at the edge. It's been very successful and that is a, a pro league level strat, uh, obviously, as we see. Air tank on it to make the glass fall out where you can shoot through it that way as well. Oh, Bra starting us off strong again. He's gonna be able to find Chai. There goes the Zofia from our attack here. We've got the new Glaz coming in here for Macy. Oh, oh it's a big run out from Coconut Bra as well. He is so good at creating his also streams. So I love that Coconut Bra is literally just doing as his namesake is. He's just like, this is a song of my people. We just jump out of windows and shoot people because we have black eye cams in the most weird places that you could possibly get them. Yeah. Oh, I, I think we can help out Godly here. What do you, what, what's the crowd think? You guys think we can help out Godly? Next up is an aggressive jump out you can do to take out whoever repels up last on the west side. Skittles placed a 200 IQ Claymore that I didn't even see on the camera, so he clapped me on one of them to get the instant trade back, but I did have some success with it again in our second match. After I prep the red stairs window from below so I can instantly get back inside on the rotation, I usually just throw the same go-to Valk cam outside the piano that I used in the previous parkour run out, but don't worry because later in the video I'll show you what to do after they learn about this cam. Sal 2! Sal's ripping it up right now. Coconut Bro with the C4 finishes off Chai, and now it's all down on a Macy. You can actually sneak up on pretty um, people quite easily, but Angle's being held by Coconut Bro. He's laying on top of the diffuser. Coconut Bro is henning this diffuser right now. So, Macy. Roosting, henning. Yeah. Roosting? Yes. Yeah. No? Warm, keeping it warm. I should know this. I'm from Iowa. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Macy getting ready to make a play here, trying to yeah, flash out Coconut Bro. What? Hello? Oh, oh! What? What happened? Macy! <laughs> Didn't even see him. Was hiding in the body, it looks like. It's like saving Private Ryan right now. <laughs> like, just stands up amongst the corpses, like, hello, I'm actually alive. Yes. <laughs> Proud to cast in front of, I've ever cast in front of in my entire, if I can even call it a casting career. Like, let me tell you. You guys are awesome. I love you all. All right, there's really not much to say about this one. If you watch Dance Emoja, you'll know how often this trick works, especially after planting the diffuser and pretending to be a dead body. It's one of those tricks that only works on people that are literally so good at the game, they don't expect something weird like this. Luckily for me, Macy is literally one of those gods in Siege that is just so good at the game that I doubt he ever gets matched up against three IQ players like me that would do this. Macy's plays because I think he was a standout player. Obviously, it was back and forth between the two teams, but he was there to help close out at the end. But I'm going to start with one of the plays didn't quite work out the way expected. This is the round where Macy's 
all alone here to try and clutch on that not nook and against four wasn't the best, but this was really the play, was Coconut Braza. I know I highlighted him a lot last time. This is gonna be the last time for him, possibly here. But the play here was just beautiful. The way he played into the spot, the best part about it was he was ready to, to He's guide against- lying in a body. That's the best part, as he blocked the flash with that as well. You saw that flash go off just a second ago. You see the result of that. And in doing so, that perfectly saves him. That's play. a gold play if I've ever seen one. Unfortunately, this ends up being a gold play here from Macy as he runs around, just does not oh, spot him. God. He's looking this direction. Coconut's looking this direction. Just the fumble here. Hello. Eventually, he'll <laughs> turn around for Coconut Run to win the night. Beautiful people on the planet, let me tell you. You're breathtaking. <laughs> Coconut Brother with the next level plays at the end of the round. He's hiding in the body of his dead teammate. That just got real dark. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a camp spot under the table in pillars that I used in almost every single round that we defended the second floor and it worked quite a bit. It's so simple and the view that you have on this camera is actually insane. Plus it's really well hidden right behind the corner of the tablecloth that's hanging down. So unless they see it with a drone, odds are they won't ever be low enough to see it again for the rest of the round. And give the Rowdy Shroudies an early 5v4 advantage in this round. Let's take another look at that. Bam! Right to the face. Well, not to the face, but the neck area, I suppose. That won't count as a headshot. So after the attackers figure out your go-to Val cam that's outside a piano, you can try this cam that's just straight out towards the Christmas market on the building facing the cafe. Now they were being really smart and cautious of the jump outs later in the game, but also they were watching bakery at the same time. So once I got the intel that they looked away, I just uncrouched real quick and took my shot. You can jump onto the counter also if they're too low, but luckily for me, Shroud was still back by the vehicle. So it just happened that it made a good quick lineup for me. I'm thinking you don't know the map, and then in reality, dude, it's it's, it's freaking, pro. It's freaking meme park, dude. Coconut bruh with the cameras as well. All right, so enough of the Christmas market side of cafe for now. Here's two crazy strong dot cams that I was using throughout the games, with the first one being one that I almost always use, and all it takes is some simple railing destruction to get to the wall and then throwing the cam right where the railing originally connected to the wall. From this cam spot, you can even see as far out as the wall on terrace if the pillar's door is open. It's actually nuts. The second cam that's good for Terrace is going to be thrown out from white stairs and by lining up the corner of the window outside, you can land a camera perfectly on the dark window border right below it. When Val cams are on the edge of these windows outside, they blend in crazy good. So he's now gonna have to jump off it, at least for a couple seconds here. Be very mindful. Oh no. Oh, coconut uh, bro. The no. angles, man. Oh, just a little. There you go. He's got it lined up. He'll do it. Just need to beat. Oh! oh, it's so smooth as well from Coconut Bra. Next up is a trick that most likely you know about already if you've been watching me much this season. It's the rappel angle that is still incredibly strong on Cafe, and it leads straight onto the doorway of Library as well as the new balcony. Badger, I didn't know it was you. If I knew it was Chonka, I would have considered letting it go. But by the time I saw movement, that usually just means a free headshot from this angle. Anyways, bra fam, I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Creators Cup. Thanks again to Ubisoft for the truly amazing experience, and to all of you watching this right now, it wouldn't have been possible without all of you, and I am truly grateful. I love you all, and I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Peace.